Okay, guys. Happy uh, Saturday afternoon. Um, wanted to uh, come on here, and we have been looking for some of these uh, these peppers, and I didn't really want to <laughs> go off and uh, order them on the internet. So, anyhow, I found a place. Came up on Facebook. Um, I'll I'll show you that here in a bit. Uh, where that was uh, you can find them on facebook it's in ligonier indiana anyhow so i went and got some and uh here they are they're right here they're sitting right here live right here that's carolina reaper we've got tabasco we've got dragon's breath we've got red habaneros we've got the white Ghost pepper, and we have scorpion. There's the scorpion. So <clears throat> I did have a little taste of the uh, the white ghost pepper. Um, I gotta say, the first uh, two or three bites wasn't uh, wasn't so eventful, but man, number four and five. Uh, woke me up, made me think, hey, this might get a little, little hairy here. This might get a little interesting. So um, I decided that uh, might not be a good idea to go without uh, some milk here standing at the ready. So I'm not sure where this is all going to go, but I'll tell you one thing. It's going to be fun, and uh, let's get to it. So, um, if we look at the, hmm, well, the Scoville chart. So, you see the Carolina Reaper, that Carolina Reaper, right? Right here. This guy right here. Carolina Reaper. That guy is up to 1.4 to 2.2 million Scoville heat units. Um, so anyhow, <clears throat> I don't have a Trinidad Scorpion. I do have the Ghost Pepper. The White Ghost Pepper. Now I would assume that the fact that it is called a ghost pepper is probably in and around the same Scoville level at 855 to, no, 855 to 1.041 million Scoville heat units. Like I said, when I got to that fourth and fifth nibble, and that's all I'll be doing today. I will only be nibbling. I will not be uh, eating them like these other people on these uh, YouTube channels. There, that will not be happening. That will definitely not be happening today. Not for me. Um, I'm not trying to be a hero here. I'm just sharing with you uh, my first time <laughs> ever, ever eating some of these peppers. and. Uh, I watch those YouTube channels, and this, these people amaze me of what, what they're capable of doing. Uh, eating contest is just amazing. It's crazy. So anyhow, um, wow, I don't know where to start. I'm trying to think where to even start here. Um, where should we start? I mean, when I look here, uh, habaneros, about middle here um scotch bonnets i didn't see any of those uh i'm not sure i don't see dragon's breath on here so i'm not sure where that is um maybe 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 let's let's try something here um google let's uh Me 
a second here. Give me a second here. Let me... Trying to get you guys the uh, the window where I'm searching here. Okay, I think I found it. Uh, okay. All right. So, so let's Google this guy. Uh, let's return to Google here. They are showing, I'm not sure how this is. This is hot sauce, uh, Tabasco pepper. Okay, looks like it's 30 to 50,000 on the Scoville, okay? <clears throat> 30 to 50,000 on the Scoville chart. All right, 30 to 50. So we're looking at around, oh, it does have a Tabasco pepper here. It does have a Tabasco pepper where I'm recording. Okay, so Serrano's, I didn't get any of those. Uh, we can get those usually at uh, the grocery stores. There's uh, next to the jalapenos. I didn't get those. Uh, they had Anaheim's, uh, pepperoncinis, bell peppers. Uh, that really wasn't relevant to what we want to do here. So anyhow. Let's go back to where we're at. So, all right. So, looking at uh, the next one, the next one, a habanero is literally right in the middle. Uh, cayenne, ty okay, Tabasco pepper, which looks like we have, um, which is the first one on the list of the Scoville chart. So, we got the Serrano. Pepper, no, Tabasco is at 30 to 50, and that's what we're going to try now. So let's see what happens here. All right, here goes. Okay. So far, so far, not bad. Starting to feel a little bit of bite, just a, a small bite. Ah, uh, yeah, there was some heat. Just swallowed that. That's uh, some heat there. So that's the Tabasco. All right. <clears throat> and again, that's 30 to 50 in the range. All right, so the next one that I have, I'm going to guess. Let's let's do the dragon's breath. I want to I want to go back. To um, so let me get you back over here with me. Um, let's do let's see what let's check out Dragon's Breath. Whoa, that's a two point what? Are you kidding me? Is that okay? Am I reading this right? Are y'all seeing this? It's a little crazy. Uh, wow. Let's see this. See how this thing goes. Let's look here. Wow. Okay. Uh, we will not be trying the dragon's breath next. <laughs> That's not going to be happening next. That dragon's breath is not going to be happening next. Hmm. Okay, then. So. <laughs> uh 
Carolina Reapers won four to two point two. The Dragon's Breath starts out at two point four. <laughs> that is pretty crazy. Uh, yeah, so that's not going to happen till last. Um, well, okay, so we are back to the Habanero. Now let's check out the Scorpion. Is the Scorpion? I want to find that scorpion. I don't know where we're at with that one. Uh, let's see. Okay. I'm not seeing it here. Scorpion. Let me go, go back and try the... Uh, check out the scorpion. Okay, uh, the scorpion is showing, whoa, 1.2. All right, so 1.2 on the scorpion, which is going to be just less than the reaper. So if we were to, all right, let's, let's put these out. So I'm going to say the Tabasco is going to be the least. We've already tried. I said that up front there. Um, the Habanero, I believe, is going to be in the middle. This might be our next try. That Scorpion is just going to be just below our Reaper. And we know this Dragon's Breath is going to be like the hottest. Okay, so here we go. Tabasco out of the way. All right. Uh, Habanero would be next. I would say we got our scorpion. And then, so our ghost pepper is definitely going to be before the scorpion. So, all right, let's do this. I don't know. This habanero, I do like habaneros, but uh, again, this is uh, something that's uh, unknown right now. So let's do it. Oh, boy. Yeah. That is definitely, ooh. That is definitely hitting. Um, <coughs> easy with the cough. Whoa. All right. So yeah, that that is definitely you can see it. I didn't I didn't take in a whole lot, but I took enough to get some heat. So Woo! Again, I'm just nibbling on these. I'm not trying to be some hero, some crazy fanatic that's going crazy. But this here is the red. Have an arrow, and I can assure you, it is way hotter than to the the Tabasco. The tongue uh, is is really uh, starting to be on fire, and I wouldn't expect any different. So, again, depending on depending on, let's look here. Depending on the heat of that specific or particular pepper, it could be at the low end of the range or it could be at the high end of the range. So I'm going to say that habanero was totally at the high end of the range because ah, my left side of my tongue is really on fire. Oh, so anyhow, let's go now. We're going to we're going to do the the white ghost pepper. And again, I've taken all the uh, the little pieces off of here up to the fourth bite when it did get hot. So we are into probably the fifth bite of this pepper. And it is no doubt uh, starting where the seed layer is. So here we go.
Excuse me. <clears throat> there we go. <clears throat> there we go. Swallowing. I should not swallow right away. But uh, I'm going to say it's a different kind of heat from the habanero. Um, how can I explain it? I don't even know how to explain it. It is a different kind of heat, but it is still hot. It still registers to the brain that uh, you're burning your tongue. Okay, wow. I don't want to linger too long. Okay, wow. I don't even want to move forward here. That is really kicking. All right, so the next up, I'm going to make this quick. Ah, the scorpion. I really probably don't know what I'm getting into here. But when we look at the scorpion, um, where are we at with the scorpion? Let's see. Ah, so the scorpion. Hmm. Do we even have it on here? Yeah, yeah. So we had the scorpion was well one point two million. 1.2, and we, that's about the range of the Trinidad. Now, I am starting to experience some nasal goings on. <laughs> so anyhow, this is the scorpion. So again, before too much stuff begins to start, again, this is the scorpion. Oh, yeah. I switched sides. My mouth is watering like crazy. Um, and as you can tell, my eyes are starting to water. That went way, <clears throat> way up from the heat level. From the ghost to the scorpion again there is a different different heat this is crazy oh mm, yeah i really want to hit that milk right now anyhow ah, the scorpion very very hot i can't imagine these people eating the whole pepper uh, down to the edge of that. So, whoo, that is hot. Ah. Okay, well, we are down to like two. Ah, mm hmm. And I'm going to go ahead. Cleanse my palate a second. Um, again, I'm not trying to be no hero here. But I did want to taste these. And I figured that I would bring y'all along with me on the tasting. Ah. So, I'm not sure whether, <laughs> whether that did me good or not good. Because... Uh, it is highlighting that heat as it still exists. So, okay, well, let's let's get to this. First time ever, Carolina Reaper. This is not going to be pretty. Um, which side should I go on? Both sides of my tongue is literally on fire. Um, at least my brain thinks it's out of fire. Okay, here we go. I gotta say, 
<clears throat> like I say, <clears throat> 30 seconds or so when this thing kicks in. At least on the videos I've seen. But, uh, whoa. All right. There's something going on <laughs> at my nose level. Uh, there's literally some wetness coming out of my nose. Um, this is, this is. I just ate off of there. Um, definitely some nose drainage coming out. Um, I'm almost tempted, tempted to take another nip of that. Okay. And where are we at on this? We are the 1.4 to 2.2. So <clears throat> that's pretty tough stuff. I got to say, I'm almost thinking that the scorpion had more of an effect on me. And I know I may be talking too soon. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> Definitely makes you belch. Ah, the body says something is happening that I'm not used to. All right. Uh, definitely getting some drainage, eye watering. <clears throat> Interesting swallows. <clears throat> and again, I'm trying to be a hero here. Um, all right, well, according to the Scoville scale, according to the Scoville scale, these dragonflies, ah, the dragon's breath. Scoville scale. Um, I don't see the dragon's breath there. Uh, let's uh, see about findings. That was the scorpion. Um, let's go back. We had the dragon's breath. Whoa. Yeah. <clears throat> so dragon's breath as it's been named reportedly measures 2.48 million on the Schofield heat scale all right so i'm just saying 2.4 if you look at the Scoville scale here it is literally off of the chart Wow, this is a interesting one. Definitely interesting one. See, so we have that scorpion. We just tried the Carolina Reaper. Now we are about to look at the dragon's breath. Um, <clears throat> once again, like I said, <laughs> uh. Like I said, the, uh, the juices for my eyes and nasal system is uh, in uh, overactive territory here. All right, well, <clears throat> only one way to do it, and that is to get to it. All right, so once again, here we go. The dragon's breath, 2.4 starting out. 
Is that right? Was that what we was looking at? 2.4? That's 2.4, 2.48, okay, wow, all right, well, to you, Dragon's Breath, I'll take a healthy little All right, as you can see, <clears throat> my eyes are definitely watering up really quick, almost immediately, and <clears throat> uh, I can tell you I'm starting to get a lot of drainage in my throat. Uh, again, <laughs> that was that part. I don't even believe I'm doing this. <clears throat> well, I don't know that I've took a bigger bite out of any other pepper than this one. <clears throat> There's almost a, a bitter style heat burn. I definitely know something's coming greater than what I'm feeling at the moment. My mouth is watering. <sighs> My nose is, sinuses are starting to kick in, and this thing is saying, hello, I'll be there, I'll be with you in a moment, and I think that moment is coming. I think that moment is coming. It is getting very, it's getting very, very hot. Poised with the milk. It is definitely, whoa. And I don't know if, <clears throat> if the milk is doing any good. I'm almost thinking the milk enhances the heat and the burn. So on the back side of my tongue now, Back here, it's starting to kick in. So, all right, guys, tell me what you think. Anybody else want to do this? Do this little challenge with me. Get your peppers together. Ooh. Holy. Oh. This is what we got. What did we try today? We started out. <clears throat> ah, these are happy tears. We started out with our Tabasco. Like I said, it wasn't too bad. We then moved on to our habanero, which technically seemed to be a little on the higher scale of what that's supposed to be. Mouth be burning. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then we went to uh, the ghost pepper, which I'd already... Uh, Kind of tried a little bit before. Um, and then we went to 
the scorpion. And it was a little different heat. Nevertheless, it was very hot than the habanero. But the habanero being on its high side, that's the way I feel. The scorpion was definitely a different heat and hotter. Carolina Reaper, as you notice that I did take two, at least two bites off of that. And um, kind of mixed feelings on the Carolina Reaper. I'm not so sure that it was overwhelmingly hotter than the Scorpion. Um, and it could be the pepper. Could be on a low scale. Scorpion could have been on a high scale. Oh, I don't know if they overlap, but <clears throat> definitely the Carolina, or the, I mean the uh, Dragon's Breath, super, super crazy hot. And this one here didn't seem to like hit you 100% right off, but it definitely hit you on the back end and so anyhow thank you guys for watching and I'm glad you guys uh, joined this uh, little uh, video here and uh, hopefully hopefully we can get some uh, folks to join and do this again so all right well <clears throat> Enjoy your day and go find you some peppers. Have some fun. Uh, it's not the uh, worst thing in the world that's ever I've ever done. Uh, it's not that bad. I'm not like knocked over or anything like that. So, all right. Well, thanks again for watching, and we'll catch you on the next video. And uh, have a great day. <coughs> ah. GoPro, stop recording. Hey guys, we are back to 